Sophie, can you tell us what is so unique about this technology that's been developed by the team in Queensland? Yes, look, it really is exciting. So scientists use a 3D printer to create a scaffold. And as you mentioned, it is, it's made of the same material as dissolvable stitches. They then insert that scaffold into the cavity in the breast area of the patient, then inject that area with fat. And the scaffold acts to bind everything together. And then over the next two years, because it's made of dissolvable stitches, the scaffold will just dissolve completely, leaving the patient's new fat and tissue there left in place. And so that's very different to what we have at the moment for breast implants. And the fact it's using the patient's own tissue means there's nothing foreign there as well. And so that's why it's really so revolutionary. Wow, my mind is just blown by this, Sophie. My brother's an engineer. He has one of those 3D printers. I can't believe it can be used for this. It's incredible. But just how does this help women who've, say, had a bad experience with breast implants? Well, we know that thousands of Australian women get silicon breast implants every year. And for some of them, they do have complications. There can be physical complications from the implant and a small number will go on to develop what's known as breast implant associated illness. And that can be a range of symptoms that these women suffer from brain fog and dizziness and that ge just generally feeling very unwell. And that was the case for our patient Moana Staunton, who was the first woman in Australia or the world really to trial this new technology. She got breast implants about 11 years ago and, but she started to develop some of these symptoms. She had really bad vertigo, she couldn't drive, and she went to the doctors at the Comprehensive Breast Cancer Institute in Brisbane and asked about getting the implants out. And so then they asked her, how would you feel about trialling this new technology that we've developed here? And so Moana has a family history of breast cancer. Her mom actually died from breast cancer. So she was very keen to help in any way. And so we do know that in the future, this technology might help patients with breast cancer. So to hear more about that, let's hear from Professor uh, Owen Ong, who is from the Breast Cancer Institute, who's leading the trial. The obvious long-term plan, and that's where this is, is to help women who've had breast cancer, who need mastectomies, because that's, uh, that, that's, that's, the, that's a, 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 an enormous clinical problem, um, and there's a need and we don't have a lot of other options. Sophie, I still, I just can't believe that this has been developed in Australia. It's just incredible. What's the ultimate hope for this new technology? Yes, it is so exciting that this has been developed in Australia. So there really are two goals. One, it's to help, as Dr. Ong said, to help those patients who have to have a mastectomy due to breast cancer. At the moment, there are really only two options. They can either have breast implants, which do come with some potential complications, or they can have a reconstruction from their own tissue, but that comes with complications and often the fat will dissolve. And so the idea is with this 3D printed scaffold, it'll hold the fat tissue in place so that then the patient can then develop their own tissue in, in, in respect of the, the patient not being there anymore. So this is something that is going to be potentially very exciting. So it's important to say it's early days. Look, they've only just done this first patient. They're going to do a couple more patients like Moana. And then in the second trial, they will include breast cancer patients. So it's very exciting. The good news is Moana is feeling fantastic. She sailed through the procedure and all her symptoms have now disappeared that she had before. So it shows that it is, it is working for her and we're just really watch and see to make sure that it all goes well and then we'll have a much bigger trial before it can be rolled out um, to a much wider audience. But yeah, it's very exciting and it's so fantastic to see this quality research being done in Australia that could have a major impact for women all around the world. Could change lives globally. Sophie Scott, our national medical reporter, thank you for bringing us such good news this morning.